All right, we're going to do 11.6. Maximum error of estimate is what we're going to be focusing on using the confidence interval. And what this is all about is um, using stats to make conclusions about the population using our um, information, especially our sample size. So let's take a look at how to calculate ma maximum error. So we're going to find this E, maximum error, based off of our Z-score. So Z is Z-score. And we're going to get our Z-score from three confidence levels that we normally choose um, in stats. And the S is our standard deviation. And N is going to be our sample size. And we don't need to worry about this piece. So N is our sample size. So what's going to happen is you're going to be taking the sample size divided by the square root of N first. Whatever this ends up being, that quotient, you're going to times it by the Z-score that is going to be given to you in the next slide. So in this slide, we have the Z-scores. We have if you're 90% 90, 90 confident that your true proportion is within this range, then you use these, the Z-score 1.65, and I wrote it here as well. If you want to say you're a little bit more confident, 95% confident, then our Z-score increases because the confidence level increases from 90 to 95. Therefore, our Z-score increases to 1.96, and we use that if we're 95% confident. If we're 99% confident, as you can see, it's almost the whole curve, so we're doing a Z-score of 2.5. 2.576 for our z-score. So I just want to let you see two visuals. Um, I personally like the table better, but the graphical depiction may help some of you. All right, so here's our example. We're going to be polling 184 randomly selected teachers and asking them um, how long it takes them to get ready for class by grading, planning, and preparing for it. And on average, according to the 184, they said about 16.8 hours per week with a standard deviation of 2.9 hours. So we're looking at a 90% confidence interval. Um, so let's find the maximum error. So we take our error. We find our Z-score based off of a 90% 90 90, uh, confidence, time, which is 1.645, times that by the standard deviation of 2.9, divided by the square root of 184, when I do the continue with the calculations, I do order of operations. The square root of 184 is 13.6. So 1.645. When I divide that, I get 0.214. So my error ends up being maximum error ends up being 0.35. Now what that means is that I am 90% confident that the population mean and how long it takes teachers to get ready for class is within 0.35 Um, hours per week from our indicated sample mean of 16.8. So the true proportion in the at overall scheme, not just 184, I would say is I'm 90% confident is within 0.34 hours of our own mean of 16.8. So that's how you interpret um, maximum error. Rewind, fast forward if you need to at certain points, and then ask me in class tomorrow for clarification as needed. Have a great day, guys.